Shalom, welcome back to Project Tefillah. Today we'll explore the 11th bracha and what it means to us. It begins, restore our judges as in days of old. Restore our counselors as in former times. Remove from us sorrow and anguish. Reign over of us in loving kindness, with justice and mercy. Sustain our cause. Praised are you, Lord, King who loves justice. When I think about this bracha, I think about the previous bracha. We heralded in our freedom, but with freedom comes responsibility. We pray for God to give, us the wi give wisdom to the judges of the land. Rabbi Lawrence Hoffman, a modern commentator, wrote, A just society is the hallmark of the age of redemption. Having prayed for an end to exile, we turn to a petition for justice. This theme will be elaborated in the next couple of brachot as well. Nationally, we pray for a just society, a society in which we are proud to live in, filled with ethics and values and the wisdom that comes from understanding that life is not black and white but full of gray, and we do the best we can in each situation. Individually, we pray for wisdom. We pray for wisdom in which we judge others and judge situations. Do we judge others and do we judge a situation with fairness and with mercy or just with strict justice? That is a question that we have to answer because you see wisdom is not just judging. It's judging with mercy and compassion for others. So I invite you this week to set an intention let us have in our thoughts and in our prayers that those who judge the important issues in our lives do so with a sense of fairness and balance and mercy. And let us as individuals, just like others, bind the balance of mercy and justice. Let us exercise our own judgment with mercy and compassion. And in doing so, we create a more just society. Have a wonderful week. I look forward to seeing you again next week for another installment of Project Fila. Hallelujah,